Hey guys I'm Papa Joe and I'm back with a brand new Call of Duty mobile video on my channel. Yesterday the new test server update for the Chinese version of Call of Duty mobile was released, so in this video I want to show you all the new information, things and settings that will probably appear in the game for the upcoming season 2 or season 3 at the latest. We start the video with some new and already known settings which, according to information, will finally be available for Android devices for the new season. The first setting added by the developers in the new test server update for the Chinese version is the new amplitude of motion blur setting, a new setting called motion blur and a new smooth picture quality and elastic line effects setting. With the new motion blur settings disabled, your gameplay in COD Mobile will look something like this. However, if you have the new motion blur settings enabled, you can definitely notice a difference. The gameplay looks smoother and much better and I'm personally really looking forward to this new setting which somehow gives me PC and console vibes in Call of Duty Mobile. We continue with another new setting for COD Mobile where you have the option to amplify the sound when killing an enemy. After activating the new setting called Amplify the Impact Noise, you will hear a new sound effect after killing an enemy, which is kinda of funny in my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you like the new setting or not. Furthermore, the Android devices will now finally receive new changes for setting the foreground depth as well as changes for the different optics in Call of Duty Mobile. To understand what I mean, I've put the optics with the current settings and the optics with the settings from the test server next to each other. I hope you will notice the difference. We continue with the green vulture perk for Call of Duty Mobile which will get the following change for the next season. According to the new information, the vulture perk will give you back new ammo equal to 100% of your weapon's magazine capacity and you will now also be healed for 20 health points when you collect a scav pack from a dead enemy. This bypasses the delay in natural health regeneration and therefore the injury remains unaffected. This healing effect can only occur once every 2 seconds. After this buff for the Vulture perk, you are literally invincible in the new season. Let me know what you think about the Vulture perk update in the comments. For the new season 2 or season 3, a new operator skill called Disruptor will be added, for which there is currently no gameplay. Instead I will show you a gameplay of the Doze Field upgrade from Modern Warfare 2 which is quite similar to the new Disruptor Operator skill. The Disruptor send out an electronic disruption signal which destroys throwable equipment placed by enemies, and further disrupts both minimap information as well as some, but not all, kill streaks for enemies. In addition, we can expect the new Jet Boost BR class in Battle Royale mode for Season 2 or Season 3 which I already mentioned in yesterday's video. There is currently no information on the new BR class for COD Mobile. Now I would like to show you another gameplay of the new multiplayer mode called Mobility Battle after I already showed you a short clip of the new mode yesterday. In this new mode we have the possibility to fly with jetpacks and run on walls. The new mode will most likely be playable on the Express multiplayer map. Unfortunately, the developers have not added a special execution move for the Mythic Spectre character in the new Chinese test server update, so we will probably have to wait until the developers revise the Mythic Spectre's execution move. We continue with the new legendary gun skins that were found by the dataminers in the in-game files of the new test server update of the Chinese version and will most likely be released for the new Season 2 and the following Season 3. Accordingly. 
we can expect a new legendary blueprint for the DLQ-33 sniper rifle, a new legendary Fennec skin and a new legendary skin for the AK-47. In addition, the legendary AK-117 Meltdown blueprint was discovered as a prestige version, which you can get after buying 3 lucky draws and will definitely appear in the new season 2. Let me know what you think about the new legendary weapon skins in the comments. In addition, some data miners have discovered a new legendary operator skin which will most likely be released in season 3. According to the information, Dame will receive a legendary version in COD Mobile and will appear together with a legendary skin for a new melee weapon in a lucky draw. According to previous rumors, a spear will be the next melee weapon in COD Mobile, but this has not been confirmed. Nevertheless, it is possible that we can expect the spear as a new melee weapon in the game alongside the dual codouches. Let me know what you think in the comments. After I told you yesterday that the data miners assume that we will see the dual codouches in COD Mobile for Season 2, another weapon was discovered in the in-game files of the new Chinese test server update, for which, according to further information, a mythic variant will appear in the game. I'm talking about the Type 19 Assault Rifle from Gary's Mod, which according to the data miners will be added to COD Mobile by the developers, if I'm not mistaken. According to the in-game description, the Type 19 is a light assault rifle developed for North Korean Special Forces. I would like to point out that the Type 19 has not been officially confirmed and therefore may change until the official release of the new season. Let me know your opinion in the comments. Otherwise, selected Chinese COD Mobile content creators have been given early access to the new Call of Duty Mobile PC version in the new test server because according to the latest news, COD Mobile will soon be playable on the PC for free. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. That's all the information and leaks about the new Season 2 and the following Season 3 for Call of Duty Mobile. If new things emerge, I will inform you immediately. And that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If so, Give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much.